Uh, my name is Taylor Bosignor. I go to the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. I'm currently a junior and my major is advertising. I didn't really know what to expect when coming here at first, but I know I love food, so when I heard about this program, Food and Culture, um, I was very excited. I expected to be working a lot with food, um, but I had no idea that I'd be able to visit so many of the important heritage and food sites around Italy um, that I was able to visit. I would say definitely getting to see parts of Rome that I would not have otherwise, parts of Italy in general really, that I otherwise would not have been able to see on my own. Um, we had an entire course called Layers of Rome dedicated to taking us around the city, showing us not only uh, the sites that we might not have been able to see alone, but also explaining their significance. Um, and then we had an entire trip to Cilento. I wouldn't have even known to go there, um, and it was probably one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. So we are enrolled in five courses, Layers of Rome. Um, they take you to different um, periods or places around Rome. Um, and explain the significance in the period of Rome and the whole idea is that the city is stratified It was built on top of each other throughout the years and you get to really do an in-depth study of those different layers of the architecture and art history um, We were in a course called food and culture Which the first part of the course explains some of the significance on why Italy has such an iconic food culture And the second part of the course is really cool. You get to go in the kitchen and learn from a Michelin star chef, Christina Bauerman. She teaches you how to make different dishes. Um, you get to do a wine seminar. Uh, that was probably one of my favorite courses for obvious reasons. Um, and then there was also an Italian language course, which was really fun. Um, and then probably the course most relevant to my major was food and media. Um, as an advertising major, we learned a lot about food's place in the marketing and advertising world. Uh, specifically as it pertains to Italy and the European Union, which is something that you don't get to study in America, being an American student um, in advertising. So that was a very cool new perspective. Um, I definitely learned a lot in that course. And then the last course was a uh, Contemporary Italian Society, which is basically a, um, an Italian history course. Uh, as American students, we don't really study, go in that in detail in Italian history. Um, so while you're here, it's very enriching to get that perspective on why Italy is the way it is today based on its very, very long and interesting history. Um, so a couple suggestions for students. I would say just keep uh, an open mind. I'm a bit embarrassed to admit that I wasn't a fan of tomatoes or like soft cheese while coming to Italy and I decided to just kind of try everything and I wound up leaving with a completely new palate that I had before. Um, in terms of food, but just in general, like you have to realize how different it, Italian culture is, especially in a big city like Rome, uh, compared to American culture. And they're going to do a lot of things different, but you have to try to see like the beauty in it. The fact that they take their time and they eat slow and they enjoy conversation and they're not in a rush and they don't take their coffee to go. All these things are a bit shocking at first, but you start to see the bigger picture and understand the way that they do life. So if you just keep an open mind and you kind of shed away your American perspective, you're going to learn a lot more. I would say informative because the sheer amount of information that I now know about Italy and Italian too. I mean, we take an Italian language course. It, it's so much fun learning the language. I, and I had no idea how to say anything in Italian and now um, I actually registered for Italian at Illinois next year. So that should just give you an idea of how informative our classes were. Um, explorative, because like I said, they take you to places, even around Rome, we went to organic grocery stores, we tried some of the best pizza in the city, we got to try the famous coffee, all these places that Gusto Lab takes you that you wouldn't have otherwise gone yourself. Um, and then I would say helpful, because there are a lot of things that you do at Gusto Lab, especially for me, as someone who has a major that involves media, uh, taking a class like food and media and getting the opportunity to do the video project, extremely helpful for my major, for projects that I'll be doing in the future, getting to work with video equipment, getting to develop a story through video, do interviews, stuff like that, um, is something that I wouldn't necessarily do in my classes at Illinois, but I get to do here, and that's really helpful in the long run, very beneficial. So I now have three full days left here, four full days, and I'm actually really sad to go home. And I think that is a testament to Gusto Lab because you can go stay in a city and do the touristy things and go sightseeing. But it was really nice to be able to come to Gusto Lab every day and de develop a routine. Um, 
Gusto Lab gives meaning and significance to the sights that you would otherwise be seeing and appreciating with your eyes, but now you can think about why they're important and why they're there thanks to the knowledge that Gusto Lab has given you. I was so excited to take a class on architecture. Now I can walk around, my parents came to visit, and I showed them, oh, I know what this place is. We learned about it in Layers of Rome. Um, or I know what this painting is. Um, and that is just kind of, in, in a brief sentence, I would say Gusto Lab equipped me with the knowledge I needed to enjoy Rome to its fullest extent.